The letter pointed out that it is regrettable that intimidation tactics are being used by the administrative and executive arm of the state to harass the senior management of the capital Maharaja group in the aftermath of the recent brutal and inhumane assault on journalists of MTV Channel Private Limited. The letter notes that while MTV Channel Private Limited has made itself available before each of the forums that has sought its presence, from the police to the Honorable Human Rights Commission to the court system, it it is evident that there are sinister moves afoot to discredit MTV Channel Private Limited and its media operations by once again targeting and harassing its senior management, directors and journalists. It added that there is a CID investigation launched targeting MTV Channel Private Limited, senior management and journalists, while those who assaulted journalists and the superior officers who were present at the location remain in positions of power despite HRCSL recommendations, including SSP Ramesh Lienage and SSP Nizam Jamaldeen, who both function as important figures in the President's Security Division. This is a flagrant disregard of the HRCSL recommendations. The letter notes that in the present backdrop, if the truth comes to light along with evidence at the 51st session of the Human Rights Council in Geneva, it will appear deeply problematic for the current Sri Lankan government that is already facing the brunt of the aftermath of the brutal and inhumane assault on our journalists and all other ramifications of the protest movements in Sri Lanka. The letter adds that MTV plays an indispensably proactive and progressive role to ensure that any government gives due adherence to democratic norms and practices during the course of the governance of a country and any undue and illegal intrusion on media freedom has always been condemned by our media. The letter calls on the Honorable Chairperson of the HRCSL, retired Supreme Court Justice Rohini Marasingha, to intervene in preventing further harassment and suppression of freedom of speech and free media by directing the Inspector General of Police, among other things. A. To stop using the police and CID to arbitrarily, baselessly intimidate and suppress free media by misusing their authority under the guise of maintaining law and order. B. To not use MTV Channel Private Limited as a scapegoat by shifting attention away from the assault, especially given that the 51st regular session of the Geneva Human Rights Council is coming up. C. To expeditiously and fairly conclude investigations into the assault and to take legal action against the perpetrators. And D. To immediately suspend or transfer those police officers against whom there are accusations, pending investigations, fundamental rights violations, human rights actions for torture, brutality, especially against media persons, so that a fair trial can be carried out.